Martin is known for his fantasy series A Song of Ice and Fire, which was adapted into the HBO show Game of Thrones. ChatGPT and other large language models learn by analyzing a huge amount of data that is often collected online. The lawsuit claims that the author's books were used without their permission to make ChatGPT smarter. OpenAI said it respects the rights of authors and believes they should benefit from AI technology. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Other prominent authors cited in the complaint include Jonathan Franzen, Jody Picoult, and George Saunders. The case was filed in federal court in Manhattan, New York, by the Authors Guild, an American trade group working on behalf of the named authors. According to the filing, it accuses OpenAI of engaging in large-scale systematic theft. This follows a similar lawsuit filed by comedian Sarah Silverman in July as well as an open letter signed by authors Margaret Atwood and Philip Pullman the same month calling on AI companies to punish them for using their tools to compensate for their work. An open AI spokesperson said, We have productive conversations with many developers around the world, including the Authors Guild, and have worked collaboratively to understand and discuss their concerns about AI. We are optimistic that we will continue to find mutually beneficial ways to work together. The case argues that LLM received data from copyrighted books without the author's permission, in part because it was able to provide accurate summaries of them. The lawsuit also highlighted a broader concern in the media industry that this type of technology displaces content created by humans. Patrick Gould, a law professor at City University, told BBC News that while he sympathized with the trial's authors, he thought it was unlikely to succeed and said they should first prove that ChatGPT had copied and reproduced their work. They actually don't really worry about copyright, they're more worried about AI destroying jobs, he said, comparing those concerns to those currently making subject of protests by Hollywood screenwriters. When we talk about AI automation and replacing human labor, that's just not something that copyright should address. What we need to do is go to Parliament and Congress and talk about how artificial intelligence will replace the creative arts and what we need to do about it in the future. The case is the latest in a long line of complaints filed against developers of so-called generative artificial intelligence, AI that can create multimedia content from text messages, over these concerns. This comes after digital artists sued text and image generator Stability AI and Midjourney in January, claiming they only work when trained on copyrighted artwork. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.